Hey YouTube, Ryan here, and I'm going to show you how to hopefully format a hard drive for your Macintosh computer that is maybe pre-formatted for Windows. Uh, so I bought this one on, let's get uh, the site up, AliExpress. So I was on AliExpress, I'm just going to get it into the zone where you can see it. I'll get rid of my bookmarks so you don't have to look at those too. And what was it? It was like a hard drive, blue endless hard drive. So it's one of these uh, blue endless hard drive, something like this one, let's say. Uh, so here it is. And it says right on here that it's, uh, these are the system requirements, Windows, 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 all these different Windowses. So I contacted the uh, seller and said I would like to return this, but he replied and said, no, you don't have to return it, you can just format it. So let's try that out. And to format it, I'm going to open up a new window, and I'm going to go to do, 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 Applications, and then under Utilities, so here's my Utilities folder. Let's open that up. Let's go to Disk Utility. And here is my hard drive, that one. Let's erase it. Uh, journaled, case sensitive, journaled. Oh, so I think the, I think this one was the one he said to uh, MS-DOS, this MS-DOS stuff. So let's, let's erase that and see what happens. Erase has failed. Awesome, okay. What about XFAT? Erase. Ooh, that looks good. I don't know. Can I go back and try this one again? The MS DOS erase didn't didn't work. Okay, I erased something, and uh, let's see what happens when I open it. Still not great. I'm not able to interact with things in here. Like if I create a new folder, um, I can't. Oh, I can. Did that work? I can use this now? Okay. So I couldn't do that before. Let's try deleting that. And let's see if I can use this for Time Machine. Um, so I'm going to enter Time Machine at the... I'll do it the Applications method again. Applications... Let's just type in Time Machine. Time Machine. Nothing. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to go to the top right and click Time Machine. You can't see that I'm doing that, but I'm opening up. I'm going to go with uh, Open Time Machine Preferences. I could actually get to this window, just so you guys are able to follow along in System Preferences. Let's open up System Preferences at the bottom of your uh, toolbar there. So I'm in System Preferences. And there's Time Machine, if you wanted to follow along. Select Disk. I'm going to go with this guy. It'll rename it to Time Machine, I believe. Let's use that disk. Do you want to stop backing up using... Uh, yeah, so my other Time Machine backups drive was corrupted. This is, this is a message that's asking me if I want to use the new one. I don't want to use both. I'm going to replace Time Machine Backups. And are you sure you want to erase the backup disk? Something in what looks like some form of Chinese that I can't read. Erasing will destroy all information in the disk. Can't be undone. Let's erase it. Ooh, it's doing something to it. And... It didn't rename it Time Machine Backups. Maybe I did that. Time Machine Backups. Whoa, okay, let's see if it works. Um, I'm going to try to back up. So again, I apologize, I'm doing this at the top right of my, oh look, it's doing it. I didn't have, I didn't have to do anything, it looks like it's trying preparing backup. Okay, so this is also to get 
it working with Time Machine. It doesn't look like uh, everybody would have to do that. Um, you can just start using this drive as needed uh, by going into your disk utility and then erasing the, the drive or the parts of the drive that represent Windows uh, compatibility that might otherwise cause problems for your, your Mac. Uh, hopefully this video was f helpful for you. If it was, please rate and subscribe. Thanks.